In this video, we're going to look at how to program a group because we already know how to program an object, but groups are slightly different. So if I click on play, and you'll see here I've um, copy and pasted a school of salmon here and a school of salmon here. These are animated, these aren't. If you would like to animate a group like I've done with these dolphins, you must animate the first one. And then when you duplicate it, um, the animation will be repeated because if I click on individual ones, you see you can animate, but when you click on a whole group, then you don't get the option. And in fact, I'm going to delete those. So I'm going to create a group out of these individual salmon. And the way I do that is I'm going to hold down shift, select all, and group them. Now I'm going to rename them. So name. And they're just called group group at the moment. So call them salmon and turn them on in code blocks. I've also group these and I've named them pod. And over here, I've got their position, which is 3, 0 0.75, 2.75. We need to remember that when we do the programming. So we're going to move this group over to where this group is. So let's go into code, and it was 2.75. Just double check that. And so you can see I've got these figures here, and I've put them into here. I got this block from transform before. And at the moment, this is moving the orca over to here. But I don't want to do that. So if I click on items, scroll down. I've got group items, and I can drag that into there. And I've created two groups, and I want the salmon group to move over. Now, at the moment, this won't work. When I press play, they stay where they are. I need an event to make this block work. So in control, if I click on run parallel and put these in here, that means that all blocks that are in here will simultaneously occur when the event of when play is clicked happens. So now let's look at that. We've got them moving over, but they're swimming sideways, which looks very strange. So let's go back into our, our blocks, go to code, and if we go into transform, then there's actually, we can get this. We can turn the salmon, the group of salmon, sorry, I have to go over to items, the pod to of the group of salmon to turn and look, leave that there for now. Let's see how that works. So we're going to get the salmon to look at the dolphins. You can't see that. It's slightly off the screen. And oh, that says salmon. Good job we checked that. And then we're going to get the salmon group to swim to the coordinates where the dolphin are at. So they've turned. And now they're swimming straight towards them. So remember, when you're using groups, if you want to animate them, animate the first one before you duplicate the objects. Group them, turn them in code blocks, rename them, and then you'll be able to program them as a unit.